Alzheimer's disease is a chronic neurodegenerative disease that causes brain cells to degenerate and die. It currently represents the majority of cases of dementia. The most common early symptom is difficulty in remembering recent events which gradually worsens over time until the decline in thinking, behavioral and social skills completely disrupt a person's ability to function independently. Gradually, bodily functions are lost, ultimately leading to death. Unfortunately, the cause of Alzheimer's disease is poorly understood. As far as science goes there are multiple variables that cause Alzheimer's, ranging from genetic factors to epigenetic ones. Existing drugs focus on some things to try to delay the symptoms, but how close are we to a cure? This is where CRISPR-Cas9 comes in. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats and Cas9 is CRISPR-associated Protein 9. Without going into much detail about the works of it, CRISPR allows scientists to make precise cuts into DNA strands, what they call double-stranded breaks, and edit the genome whether to suppress certain genes or to express others. So basically, the promise of this new technology for medicine is to edit a person's genome to prevent or reverse gene-related diseases. For the purpose of this video, we'll focus on the latest research about the application of CRISPR to treat Alzheimer's disease. We'll report the findings of one of the first studies in vivo, made in mice. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're curious about science applied to health issues and hit that bell icon so you receive the notifications every time we upload a new video. A pioneer study on Alzheimer's was published in April 2019 in Nature Neuroscience and it's based on the premise that the accumulation of a protein called amyloid beta in the brain is a major agent propelling the cognitive decline in Alzheimer's. This is indeed one of the most common traits of Alzheimer's disease patients and is widely accepted as one of the factors at the genesis of the disease. To counter this, researchers focused on an enzyme called beta secretase 1, or base 1, which is required for the production of amyloid beta. They then created nanotechnology for the delivery of Cas9, named nanocomplexes. These nanocomplexes used the CRISPR-Cas9 approach to block base 1 expression, thus halting the accumulation of amyloid beta. The results were astonishing. The nanocomplexes injection in the brain of the mice not only resulted in decreased accumulation of amyloid beta, but also reduced amyloid beta-42 secretion, which is another hallmark of the disease. Additionally, researchers found that two injections in a specific area of the brain called CA3, in the hippocampus, which is a part of the brain associated with memory, more efficiently suppressed base 1 and Alzheimer's disease characteristics in the hippocampus. In other words, they combined nanotech with CRISPR to target base 1 enzymes and successfully reduced some major hallmarks of Alzheimer's in the brain of mice. And they also found the most efficient way to do it. The study concluded that base 1 expression was more efficiently inhibited by these nanocomplexes than with current drugs. Another interesting thing about this study and its results relates to very important and concerning issues regarding the CRISPR approach, which are the off-target effects, or side effects, if you prefer. Scientists use CRISPR to edit genetic material in a very specific way, so this is about making sure the right genes are targeted and unpredictable mutations are mitigated. In this study, the off-target effects were assessed by measuring the so-called INDLs and SNVs. Zindles are short for insertion deletion and SNV means single nucleotide variants, and basically, they measure different types of modifications to the genome. In their experiment, the authors of the study found very low levels of indels and SNVs as well as no increases in inflammation and toxicity. This is all good news, but how did mice actually behave? Scientists made several cognitive tests to assess the mice's associative learning skills, spatial memory, and other. Consistent with the rest of the results, the mice treated with the nanocomplexes did much better than the control group. Does this mean CRISPR will be the end of Alzheimer's? It's not clear yet. 
This study is groundbreaking in the sense that it demonstrated the feasibility of using CRISPR in mice to target neurodegenerative diseases. However, despite these results, challenges remain in translating it to a clinical setting. Cas9 delivery cannot target widespread dysfunction in the brain, only specific targets. Thus, it's not likely to prevent disease progression in Alzheimer's disease patients. In fact, Cas9 nanocomplexes may actually be more effective in treating focal neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's disease. Still, further studies on these nanocomplexes might help to slow down the onset of cognitive impairment in Alzheimer's disease patients. Please note this video is our interpretation of scientific papers. It is merely informative and doesn't constitute any form of advice. If you have any health issues or concerns, please contact your physician or licensed health professional.